Chapter 32 Captain Moroni and the Title of Liberty A wicked man named Amalekiah wanted to be king over the Nephites. Many Nephites had left the church to follow him. If Amalekiah became king, he would try to destroy the church of God and take away the people's liberty. When Captain Moroni, the leader of the Nephite armies, heard of Amalekiah's plan to be king, he became angry. Moroni tore his coat to make a flag. On it he wrote a message to remind the people to defend their religion, freedom, and peace. Moroni put the flag on a pole and called it the title of liberty. Then dressed in his armor, he knelt to pray. He asked God to protect those who believed in Jesus Christ and prayed for freedom in the land, calling it a land of liberty. Moroni went among the people, waving the title of liberty. He called them to come and help protect their freedom. People came from all over the land. They promised to obey God's commandments and to fight for freedom. When Amalickiah saw how many Nephites had joined with Moroni, he was afraid. He and his followers left to join the Lamanites. Moroni and his army tried to stop them, but Amalickiah and a few of his men escaped. Moroni placed a title of liberty on every tower in the Nephite land. The Nephites had kept their freedom and again had peace. <laughs>